afternoon guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is the last speaking this is a live trading video but the thing is i wanted to save your time and what i did is i have recorded my trades earlier in one video and now i will show you what i have done with these trades i think this is better it will save your time and we will make the videos shorter so it will not be so much boring for you to watch them so let me go directly and show you this one this is one trade that I have taken on the GPP CAD this morning and I am on the one hour time frame allow me to say the reason I have entered this trade what we are seeing is a very strong bearish momentum so the pair is actually falling down uh, the since yesterday or since last week the pound is falling down so hard and I believe it will continue falling more down especially after seeing this uh, strong or long uh, bearish candle it is a long bearish breakout candle it has broken out from this support we have here on the left side so if I want to be accurate drawing here a support line like that has actually been broken by this long bearish breakout candle and therefore we can see the candles going up right now now let's look at the left let's take a look at the left and aha uh -huh, we see here a resistance so meaning this resistance after the breakout here is gonna keep the position as a resistance guys this is simple hit and run strategy so we can see clearly that this resistance has kept the position when we saw this candle actually closed this red one this small red candle that's why I have waited for the candle to come up to create an another attempt if you look carefully I mean sorry this is a recording I cannot uh, do anything but if you look carefully we see here the first week here we see we see here two weeks okay the first week was the first attempt of the resistance while the second one was the second attempt and I have placed my sell order right on the second attempt immediately after it happened so let's see how this trade happened immediately it became in profit you can see it came in profit I believe I have made some uh, this is not me by the way now this is the video uh, this is me and you can see it's just a video playing of my trade we can see immediately I'm in eight dollars profit and let's see, I believe I closed it soon not later than that nine dollars of profit ten dollars of profit eleven uh, you can see here what I did let me just pause what I did here was zooming to the five minute time frame and we can see here clearly this week here is making the first attempt testing that resistance level I showed you previously on the left side and I placed my trade immediately right here exactly on this level and you can see how accurate this entry was it was very good entry and I believe it gave us a good profit uh, yeah it was almost nine pips of profit and let's see I think I have okay with thirteen dollars twelve dollars fifteen uh, no this is the new trade wait thirteen dollars yeah seventeen dollars profit and I believe here where I closed it and allow me to show you the reason why I closed it here look at that did you see that what happened I closed my trade right here and what I saw here is a previous resistance so I have entered my trade here and I exit my trade at the nearest resistance which is right here so right now I'm feeling safe because I made the right decision so I did not over trade I did not keep my trade running for longer time than what I want I followed my hit and run rules by exiting at the nearest resistance or support so you can see clearly that I have kept the profit like that perfect so I kept the profit and immediately move to the next trade now the next trade on the GBP USD was exactly just a replica of what happened earlier so what I saw here is a breakout candle a support level has been broken out by this breakout candle and the next candle remember I'm on the four hour uh, sorry on the one hour here and this the green candle is going up retesting this resistance level here remember this is the rules of hit and run when you see the bearish breakout candle you need to look for 
sorry, sorry. Uh, you, when you see the bearish breakout candle here, you need to see the 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 nearest resistance to this candle, and the nearest resistance we have is this one, but also the candle is at this resistance. Meaning, you need to place your sell right here. So this is what I did. Immediately place the sell order, and you can see I will be immediately in profit. Now, this is where I placed my take profit here. Do you know the reason I place my take profit here? It's because this is here the nearest resistance to this breakout candle. So, sorry, to this uh, trade I have taken here. So if I place my sell here as I did, you can see the candle will go down, hitting the nearest previous resistance. Now I didn't stick to the take profit. I don't do that usually. I just uh, get out when I see uh, the dollars uh, enough for me to have a profit from the trade. I mean, when it's enough. You know, I have a small account here. I don't like to trade thousands of dollars. I just deposit small account. And I will show you. I will show you that this was just an $83 account. And I have made it in two days to $241. And actually more than that by now. And I will prove it, by the way. So, this is the trade. Let me see how far I kept uh, going. Uh, it went up right here. Again, went down. I like the idea of recording the trades, then make the video. So, it will, it will help actually to save your time, to so we can speed up the trades. Look at that. Look what I have done. Now... This, did you see that? Now the market is going down, the candle is going down, and what I did, I switched from the one hour chart now to the five minute time frame. What I saw now in the, one, in the five minute time frame, that the candle is close to this support here. So following to my rules, if I enter here, I need to exit at the nearest support, which was right here. So let's continue and see what happened later. How many pips that was? About five pips, uh, $10 of profit. I believe I closed the trade very close to this level. I'm just uh, for one. So this is the trade. It was it kept going in profit, twelve dollars, and that's it. Finished. Now that is the end of the video. Now let me show you now the current running trade, and you can see this account is two hundred forty-seven dollars, but right now it is actually on two hundred and sixty-six dollars with even more and more profit what I did now and l let me show you something because uh, I'm pissed off with those who don't believe actually just one second sorry so this was the trade I'm talking about uh, I'm selling GBP and ZD and right now I'm on $10 profit and I want to close it I just wanted to confirm something yeah now it's correct I wanted to confirm that this is indeed my live account and we can see it here live because a lot of people are accusing me for doing live trades using using demo that is totally not right what i'm doing is all on my live account all the live trading videos are on my live account so again uh, allow me to show you the reason i have taken this gbp and zd trade which i have sold here right here because first of all we see here a lot of actually very strong rejection on the level like there is no way that the pound is rising up against this uh, support level it's impossible you need to read the you need to be able to read the candles uh, the second thing is if you switch to the five minute time frame you can see it actually here happened there I entered here actually right here so you can see that this level has been broken this support level has been broken out and then the the, the market went up just to retest this level and just from this level here I placed my sell and you can see I exit my trade actually at the right place because I don't want to keep it running for a long time especially knowing that I am actually a scalper so allow me to show you this $263 account it started all, of, all the way from $83 this is the deposit $83 and let me show you the trading history so that's my trading history for the day and you can see that I started from $83 and in one trade you, uh, selling USDGPY uh, early morning on Monday I have made $55 and then the profits kept coming one after another 
So that's why I'm choosing to be a sculptor because it's actually so much more safe. I like to be a sculptor because um, I really don't like the feeling of leaving the computer and keep the thread running for a long time. This one here only, I kept it running for a long time and actually I was kind of nervous because it is not my style at all to do long swing threads, especially with the big lots and you, saw, you see that size 0 0.2 on $83 account. As that's the, the I'm trying to tell you something here. That is my style of trading. That's my money management. Instead of deposit a big account like ten thousand or one thousand dollars, what I like to do, even not depositing hundred dollars or not even two hundred dollars, I am able to grow my money. I'm a trader. What I'm doing here is making money on forex. So the thing I like to do is deposit a small account and increase it to become bigger. So instead of deposit $250 or $260, what I have done is depositing just $83 and made it to $263. Now I can start from here. So now I actually made money instead of depositing. I, I don't understand why a lot of people don't agree with that. They hate this statement. They're accusing me to not be a real trader because of doing that. But, but what I believe is I am a real trader because I'm doing that. Instead of depositing money, I am actually making money from tiny small amount. And this account, I will keep it growing until end of the week before I, depo uh, before I withdraw my profits. So I actually would like to take another live uh, trading, another live trade in front of you. Uh, hopefully we can do it. Let's see if there is any good uh, opportunity that I can take right front of you here uh, instead of recording. Uh, I'm just looking here and there. For example, this entry here, I don't, I don't like to take it because it's against my policy. My policy is about to enter the second attempt, so the first attempt or second attempt of the support. And we have here a support attempt number one so this is a, the first bounce and here we have this long week here this long week here is actually the support number two therefore entering the support number three is a big no in my rules I don't like to enter the third attempt that's why I'm dropping this uh, setup same goes in this setup as well for the AOD CAD we have already one two three and now we are on the fourth attempt of the support and that I don't like to take to take at all. Uh, I'm trying to find a good setup that I can trade actually in front of you. Hopefully we can make it. Uh, no. Let me tell you no. Why? Why no? Here. Here you might tell me, but Salah, you have here a, a resistance has been broken out by this long bearish breakout candle so this resistance will remain as a resistance now you are right it kept the position as a resistance right here you can see it right here so this is the first attempt and it has already happened now we can see that the second attempt did not work and we can see this level has been broken out by this long not long by this green candle it's not on the same level the problem with this candle, the body of the candle has actually closed above this level of the resistance, meaning this is not really safe to enter, just like that. So there is a potential uh, growth here right now. What I'm seeing is that this market might actually continue to go more up because we also have here a support. So after this breakout candle, the market now has a potential to keep going more and more up. So placing sell here is not really the, the best idea you can do. And we keep looking for any good setups that I can take right in front of you here. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. I have my strategy rules and I have my policies and I will stick to it no matter what, even if that means I will not enter any trade for the whole day. If I don't see the right setup, I will just not trade at all. I'm not here racing. I'm not rushing to trade. Look at that. There is one trade here on the GBP CAD, which I have missed, obviously. We can see that there is a support here, and we have here a bullish breakout candle, meaning 
this support kept the position as a support so we can see this candle here is actually reversing that is my strategy guys you can see it clearly happening right front of you if I placed my trade right here I would have been in 13 pips of profit well sadly the pair has bounced when I was recording or actually a little bit earlier but it, uh, it happened that I missed my chance so I don't want to make this video long I just wanted to explain to you how we can spot these setups how we can uh, take these uh, trades and please guys uh, always remember that you don't need to, do, to make a huge deposits you can just make a small deposits and keep growing your account especially for the beginners I hear a lot of, a lot of beginners when they want to start they say to they, they are telling me Salah I want to deposit thousand dollars and I ask him did you have ever have you have you ever traded before he say no I just uh, traded demo only and that is actually wrong you should actually try with a small account like 50 or 100 dollars if you are a beginner don't risk your money which you have earned hard uh, hardly to to lose your your money please be safe and guys always have a safe trading and always follow the hit and run rules strategy if you don't see the candles um, or if you don't if you don't see the setups as you as you desire them then just ignore the setup and don't risk just go to the setups where you actually very sure that this is gonna work please avoid any setup that it might might work maybe it will work I believe it might work replace all of that with the setups that I am 100% sure this will work this is obviously gonna work this is a clear support and resistance and I'm going to place my trade here and there so guys uh, I'm sorry for the long video again but I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching